Hello, sacred souls. It's Susanna from Alamanic Shaman. What I have here for us tonight is a healing from betrayal. And I know I've done one before, but um, after I did the last one, I actually had collected some uh, willow twigs. And just to make it easier to transport, I had twisted them into kind of like a wreath. And it really reminded me of the thorn crown that Jesus had. Um, this one I redid and it doesn't look as good, but it's okay. It, it's more the symbolism that counts, right? Um, but yeah, so the ultimate betrayal of Jesus was like when Judas betrayed him, right? So um, it doesn't have to be that extreme that it costs us our lives, but, or our life, like each person has one life here right now, right? Um, I'm not counting like all the other incarnations and reincarnations. But um, it could also be an attempt on our life. So, for example, um, it actually unfortunately happened twice in my case that two dark ones tried to sacrifice me without me realizing um, because they wanted to get my powers and my light. So, yeah, that could be. So that was like an energetic and astral sacrifice, right? Um, luckily, I had a lot of guidance and protection and I managed to come out on top. So, and yeah, get your mind out of the gutter if you're thinking anything else. Um, because that sounded funny. Um, anyway, so that shall represent the ultimate betrayal, but it could also be something where, let's say, maybe a relative cheats you out of your inheritance or um, maybe, you know, someone stole your ID and, you know, then got you into a lot of trouble. I know of someone whose own brother... Um, used his identity to commit a crime and then my friend had a lot of trouble proving that it wasn't him but his brother so <laughs> that kind of stuff is like the ultimate betrayal right of someone close to you whom we trust usually up until the betrayal happens all right um so the dark feather representing the dark this little twig shall represent the evil snake that possesses those kind of people to betray us. And this piece of wood kind of made me think of a really weird, sick and twisted kind of beast head. Kind of almost like out of a horror movie or sci-fi. Yeah, more like science fiction, right? But that's kind of what I thought of here, some kind of beast head. Um, so that also representing the dark evil one um, who might have, who might or might not have been possessed by some kind of demonic entity to then commit that ultimate betrayal. Um, but either way, like they, they have a lot of darkness in them if they do that kind of stuff. Then the gavel is really just more there as a prop to show that um, we want justice. And the sword usually connects me to the dragon energies, but I feel like this time it's for Archangel Michael with his sword of justice, basically. Right? Then over here... I have a mini canvas on a mini easel and that shall represent our future, which is a blank canvas and we can make it into anything that we want. The sky's the limit. We create our own future, right? So we leave this stuff behind and create a beautiful new future. And here I have a sleeve from Starbucks, which really shows a happy face, right? So that shall represent happiness. And this little piece of wood kind of reminds me of a cigar. So 
you know, when you have something to celebrate, you might bust out a cigar and celebrate, right? So that's what we're going to do. Um, in this case, I feel like I don't have to reenact as much. I just kind of really wanted the props more there to kind of get the point across. But um, yeah, let's get started. Let's call our spirit guides in. Dear Creator, Higher Power Source and Soul Energy, our higher selves, our higher spirit guides of the light, and all of our ancestors that are in the light, and Great Spirit of the Fire, please help us fully and completely heal from any and all betrayal that has happened in our lives. And also, actually, I forgot to mention that earlier, not just the betrayals that were done to us, but also if we betrayed someone. Uh, because both sides of the coin are toxic and need healing. And if we did someone wrong, then we probably carry a lot of shame and guilt around. So that also needs to, to heal. We need to let go of all of that and also forgive those that have betrayed us so that we can be light as a feather for our ascension process right and light as a light feather not a dark feather uh, okay so please help us with that let any and all beasts and demons, inner demons and haunting demons and possessing demons and otherwise uh, dark, demonic, satanic energies, powers, forces, spirits and beings be removed from us and our energy fields now and forever throughout all of time and space, throughout all lifetimes, timelines, parallel and alternate realms, realities, multi and universes and any and all other aspects that affect us in this lifetime. And so it is. Thank you, Miigwech, Dankeschön, all my relations. And let any and all evil snakes now and forever be broken and removed from our lives. And let all evil, represented by this feather, be gone from our lives. And let any and all damage physic physically mentally spiritually emotionally and energetically from any betrayals any hurt pain suffering hate anger resentment blame guilt and any and all other dark and low vibrational emotions now and forever be removed from us transmuted into love and light and released back to source energy and so it is thank you miigwech danke schön all my relations we ask that peace and justice enter our lives and archangel michael cut through any and all injustices that may still exist sorry i should have pulled it out of its thing um, let it, let any and all cords and connections that any of those dark ones still have to us now and forever be cut, severed and finished and removed and symbolically here, imagine it, be cast into the fire to be burnt away and transmuted into love and light and returned to source energy. And so it is. Thank you, miigwech, dankeschön, all my relations. And let's get to the good stuff. Let me just move the stuff up here so it's a little easier. It's just the rock wasn't big enough. Okay, so let the good and happy times enter our lives now. Let victory come into our lives over all this darkness and all this evil stuff that has ruled in our lives. And wow, this is burning sort of bluish. I don't know if you can see that. Um, actually, now not anymore. But at first, like the 
base of the flame was really blue. Okay, so let victory be ours and let the celebrations begin. And let any and all passions, hobbies and interests of ours that we have stopped or neglected because of all this dark stuff in our lives. Let all those passions and interests be either reignited or let us find new ones represented by, you know, the mini easel with the, with a canvas. Let us find new passions and avenues that we can pursue in our new life that we're creating for ourselves and let this be the blank canvas where we can draw a beautiful new life and create anything that we wish to create and so it is thank you miigwech dankeschön all my relations oh wow the energy feels way more peaceful already Whew. and let us all be filled and surrounded by massive amounts of healing light unconditional love blessings and protections and an abundance in all the areas of our lives where we've been lacking up until this point wow this is really interesting how that is kind of creating a different color on the canvas <laughs> almost a bit like a screen all right Whew. wow that's actually really cool and fascinating all right um and put a massive 12d shield of protection with golden light all around us wow here we go Whew. Wow. Oh man. I can feel the dark energies lifting and just leaving. Wow. Whoa. Okay. I'm pulling myself out of this. <laughs> Otherwise I'll get lost in the energies here. Oh, but look at the canvas. Sorry, let me get closer. It actually looks like a picture inside the picture i'm not quite sure what it is but that is really cool wow it's like a television but not a television that this is real life <laughs> all right Whew. thank you to all of our spirit guides and the creator higher power source energy oh. Please keep us very strongly guided, safe, shielded, and protected at all times. Help us always stay on the right path. And if we try to wander off in the wrong direction, not just back on the right path, please. And thank you. And we want to give thanks for all the blessings in our lives. For all the help that you've given us along the way. For all the people that you have brought into our lives that have enriched our lives and have helped us along the way. Even if they are no longer in our lives now, sometimes people are only meant to be there for a while to help us in one way or another or to teach us something and to help us grow. So we give thanks for that. Thank you for this beautiful life here on earth. Despite all the struggles, which we know and understand now, were actually very important learning lessons for our development. Thank you for that. Thank you, miigwech, dankeschön, all my relations. Ah. <sighs> Okay, everyone, this is it. Let the ceremony now officially be finished. Open the circle of protection around us, but keep us strongly safe, shielded, and protected. 
And I'm also sending everyone, all of you, so much love and light, so many blessings. Be well until next time. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you know anyone who might also like this video, then please forward it to them and share it. Thank you. Miigwech. Till next time. Dankeschön. Bye.